the issue is that currently there's no air gap. Basically what that means is that the disposal line, which is this guy, comes from all the way up there. I can't see it right now, but basically it's that this line comes through and then it goes directly into the uh, garbage disposal and then from the garbage disposal down to the P-trap and then from the P-trap uh, down to the drain. Um, and so the problem with that is that to be code compliant, you need to have an air gap in this loop. So basically where this line comes up, and I'm trying to see, sorry if it's sideways, but basically right up there, um, you need to have this opportunity for uh, gases to escape and enter that line. So we have a hole right here um, where we're gonna be doing that. So basically from the underside, we're gonna be pushing this thing up and the way it's gonna look like is this. So it's gonna go from the dishwasher, it's gonna have the wastewater, and it's gonna travel through this line here. And it's gonna go into this small little tube right there. And then we've got a seven eighths inch uh, diameter exit right here. And so basically all the liquid does is it goes up and over. Um, and then you've got this place where it can breathe. Um, and so from there, from this big hose, it's gonna go from that to uh, this thing, which I just picked up at Home Depot, which is called a dishwasher tailpiece with a seven eighths inch branch. So this guy is gonna go onto this end in here. That guy will go there. And then finally, what will happen is uh, in our P-trap right here, I'm gonna remove this little extension piece and um, we're just gonna throw this guy into it. And then um, that'll be the new drainage with an air gap so that we can uh, have this working as expected. So I'll be first starting by unplugging this dishwasher and uh, make sure the water line is turned off, which it is. And then we'll be pulling it out and I'll be throwing on a new drain hose. And then uh, we'll hook that drain hose onto this guy and I'll keep you guys tuned. Okay, and the way we take out uh, dishwashers is pretty straightforward. Um, after you've undone the power and the water and the drainage underneath the sink, uh, if you look underneath them, usually you've got some screws. If this is a wood or laminate, you'll usually have like some drywall screws that just go in here to hold these tabs up. Um, but in my case, we've got a granite once we've got this support beam and we've got a screw that just threads in just like that. So we're just gonna unscrew that. And then once we do that, we'll be able to pull this whole thing out. All right, so we've got this new hose attached now. And so what I'm gonna do is on the air gap piece itself, I'm going to connect this into this small part. And on these universal ones, uh, they give you a bunch of different sizes. So I'm using a box cutter to basically cut off the bigger parts that I don't need. So in my case, I'm using this small one right there. And once we get that guy hooked up, I'm also gonna hook up the uh, 7 8 inch hose onto this guy. And then we'll shove it up through the sink right to there. And then uh, screw this in place. And then we should be a lot closer to being done. Alrighty, this is how it should look uh, before you shove it all up there. You don't have to tighten in these by hand up there because I mean, it's pretty bad access behind this uh, sink. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna shove this up and then there's some threads right here I'm gonna grab onto once this is poking up off the front up there. So I'm just gonna do that and then uh, we'll be on our merry way. All right, so just got this on and we tighten this up so it's holding itself up like that. And I'm gonna come with a little cover plate here and these are just push on just like that. And now finally I'm gonna connect this guy and this hose up to it. And you wanna make sure that these hoses have no more uh, ups in them. It's all just a downhill slope into your P-trap. So um, I'm gonna take this extension. I'll show you guys what that looks like. Basically I'm just gonna be shoving this guy into there. Um, also on these, the 7 8 is a pretty tight fit. So I use some water and some soap just as some lube to help uh, make it easier to shove this on and uh, we should be good to go pretty soon. All right guys, and in terms of the last connection here on my P-trap, I've already loosened this thing up. You can see the collar, and I'm just gonna pull that up so you can see there's water right now on the P-trap. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this off, and we're just gonna shove it right up on there. If this is uh, used and disgusting, you should obviously buy new ones. Um, but before I do that, I'm also gonna take off this guy. I need two hands to do this, but you guys get the idea. This guy up front, this guy in second, and then we'll move this over there. Screw it down on our P-trap, and then we'll be done getting our air gap installed. And then obviously you're gonna to wanna to pressure test this or leak test it. So I recommend putting down some like dry paper towels wherever you have these connections and seeing if you can see any drips 
and then just run the dishwasher, empty your full whatever. Uh, and if things are good, then great. And good job wrapping this up.